for today, uh, I thought of sharing to you some things that I have learned about Guam. Guam is a very interesting place, you know. Where is Guam located? So Guam is one of the Federated States of Micronesia and it is near the Philippines and um, I learned that um, uh, Philippines and Guam had long interactions with each other like Philippines transported goods to Guam and also and it is in the Pacific Ocean. Okay, second question. Why it became part of the USA? Um, so, uh, first of all, Guam is part of the USA. It is not a state, it is just a territory. That's why I said here why it became a part of the USA. So, as part of their campaign during the Spanish American War, the United States captured Guam in, in a bloodless landing on June 21. 1898 and in 1898 the treaty of paris formalized the handover and guam officially came under u.s rule so basically what it means is that u.s captured guam or won the war the spanish american war and they signed a treaty that it formalized the handover and guam officially came under u.s rule Okay, so when did it became part of the USA? On June 21, 1898. And one of the amazing things um, of Guam is even that, as we've learned earlier, that Guam is a territory or part of the USA. It is like Hawaii, you know, it's thousands of miles away from the continental USA, which is like, the, the the states of the the u.s that are like um bunched up together but these islands this guam and hawaii but specifically guam we're talking about is thousands of miles away from the u.s and it's like amazing it is so far from the main usa the continental usa but yet it is a territory which is really amazing because, as we've learned earlier, USA captured it with, um, they they won the war, and they signed the treaty, and it became in U.S. rule under U.S. rule. Okay, next question: What is the history of the flag of Guam? Okay, this is a very interesting story. The Guam flag was designed by Mrs. Paul, the wife of an American naval officer, and was officially adopted as a territorial flag by Governor Roy C. Smith in 1970. Hmm. So, um, it was the Guam flag was designed by a wife of, um, of an American naval officer. Okay, next question. Facts about the land of Guam. So these facts are really interesting, you know. They, I learned this and I was really surprised, you know. It has a population of 169,520 people as of January 2, 2021. So it is just this year. Okay, next. So there are two main businesses for tourism and military. So you might be surprised. Oh, wow, wow. Tourism and military. Well, the U.S. made Guam one of their military bases. They, they have them all over Guam. And it's just a small island, but they have so many. About a, a lot of the land have been allocated for the, for the U.S., for the U.S. Army. And also tourism because it is a tropical country and it's beautiful. It has sand, white sand beaches. Next, um, Guam was a colony of Spain for three centuries. This is what I'm saying when um, the Philippines and the Guam have similarities. Guam 
was uh, captured by Spain the same time the Philippines were captured by Spain too. And Guam was a colony for Spain for three centuries. It means like 300 years. It's a lot. Okay, that was a long time. Next. The official languages of Guam are Chamorro, which is their native language, and English. Okay, next. Ah, now, it's time for the Adventist facts. <laughs> okay. Uh, what Adventist mission does Guam belong? The Gua so the mission that uh, and the the mission that Guam has since it is just a small uh, small place, the, it is a mission and not a conference. So it is the Guam Micronesia Mission. So when was this established? Nineteen forty eight. Okay. Next question. How many FTA members and churches in Guam? J GMM or Guam Micronesian Mission has 20 churches, which is nice, and membership is 4,773 as of 2014. It also has two health clinics, two radio stations, and a vegetarian store and restaurant. And I read that this vegetarian store and restaurant was like really successful in Guam and like it inspired many people. And I think I watched one story on, on how one person transformed, was transformed by their um, one of their radio stations, which is Joy FM. That story was like a person listened to it and then when she was baptized into the Adventist church. Um, it transformed her life, and she was she was also inspired to share God's word to others and God's love. And it is amazing on how God works, um, especially in Guam. It is a very Christian country. So, um, most of the people are Christian since they were a colony of Spain for three centuries. Imagine that. It is amazing on how God works. That even though maybe people are hard to reach even to those places God's light, his light is penetrating to the hearts of people through the work of our work of um, his instruments so those are my facts and questions that we answered here in this video about Guam and I really learned a lot from the history of Guam and it is very amazing that, um, that actually while I was researching this I was really fascinated because wow there are thousands of people who are waiting to hear God's message in Guam and a lot are just waiting and just like longing to have that life that God gives that God gives freely to every one of us. So let us continue to pray for the missionaries and our church, the Adventist Church in Guam, that they may continue to spread God's love to everyone and that they may spread hope, light, and truth in this island. So continue to pray and ask God to guide Guam Micronesia Mission as they continue to spread the, the message that God wants them to share. Thank you for watching this video!